Hi, this is Dr. Justin here, and today's talk is on how I make Bulletproof Coffee. I get this question all the time, how do you do it, what do you use, this and that, so this is an instructional video to kind of give you an idea of how I do things. So again, most important first step, you got to have good coffee beans. Mycotoxin free, high in antioxidants, Bulletproof Coffee is your first step here, upgraded coffee. Next, you need a really good French press. So if you're traveling, this probably won't work, so it'll be hard to put it in your suitcase. But again, if you're at home, this is perfect. I like the Le Cafeterie brand. You notice here it's all stainless steel and metal, no plastic. The majority of French presses on the market, like the Bowdoin ones, for instance, they do have at the head and around, there is plastic. I spent hours and hours and hours searching, and this is the only one that I can find. So for everything I mentioned, I'll put links in the description of the video so you can have easy access to where to find these as well. So again, La Cafeterie, I like the 12 cup. It gives you just enough so if you're with two or three people, you have enough to share. First step. Right, after that, really good coffee grinder. We want to use whole beans because the whole beans are going to preserve the bean better, better antioxidants, and it's going to taste a lot better too. So the Krups coffee blender or coffee grinder is going to be the best way to go. Then when we're actually blending the coffee, you want to use a good blender. And a lot of blenders, just like with the French press, have a lot of plastic parts. So you've got to make sure you get a really good blender that has glass around it. Remember, the different plastics, if we use hot water, it's going to liberate a lot of different chemicals, whether it be PCBs or BPAs or phthalates, and that's going to go into our coffee and make our coffee not so bulletproof. All right, so first step, we're going to grab a couple of scoops of coffee beans. We do about 10 to 12 ounces of of coffee in my mug in the morning. So I like to do about two scoops. About 10 seconds is usually what you want to do to get it nice and, and clean. We're going to dump it right into the French press. Before you swipe it out, make sure it's unplugged too. Gotta get every last bit. And the reason why I like the French press so much is because the water gets to just sit there and basically be immersed by the coffee so it absorbs better flavor and better texture and it just tastes a lot better in my opinion. Next step is the hot water. That's kind of high, like right between the logo and the, and the bottom here. That's what gets me just enough coffee. Perfect. Then you want to let it sit for about four minutes. So we'll put the timer on and come back in about four minutes. All right, we're back. It's been four minutes. Our coffee is ready to, to brew up here. So the next step is we got to grab our blender. Make sure it's glass. We're going to take our coffee and we're going to pour it right into the blender. Just like so. Perfect. And the next step is we got to add high quality butter. So I'm a big fan of the Kerrygold unsalted butter. I do about two to three tablespoons at least. And you know how much it is because there's a little grit on the back here. So Kerrygold butter is the best way to go. We're going to add that right to the coffee and blend it up. Butter right there. And then we can also add a little bit of MCT oil. Now this stuff's really good. Some people are more sensitive to it. I only can do about one tablespoon. Once I get over that level, it starts to upset my stomach. So if you can't do it, you can always switch over to coconut oil, but a lot of good neurological benefits with this MCT. So just a little bit for me. And that's it. And then outside of that, we also can do some high quality chocolate cacao powder or vanilla extract. You can see here. I usually rotate it between the two. It kind of mixes up the flavor of the day, so to speak. So we'll do some chocolate today. All right. Now we're going to blend it all up. All right. Finished. Now you got the best coffee you ever could imagine. Cheers. Mmm. Hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, feel free to visit justinhealth.com. Thanks, and enjoy your coffee.